Hi, today we are going to visual using another methodology, a convolutional neural network model. We are going to use the gradcam function that will help us to take a photo and focus on the specific areas on the photo that help the model to make the prediction. For example, in this cat, his face was the relevant in the relevant features that help us to, to predict the cat. And in this line, see, you can see there are two areas, one uh, near the head and the other one is the body. So how can we achieve this functionality? We are going uh, to use a, a very fantastic uh, library. I will uh, explain it uh, in a few seconds. And in a 10, 10 minutes uh, tutorial, you will understand how you can do it in your own model. So we are going to uh, install uh, the TF Keras Viz library. You can uh, Google it uh, and find it in uh, GitHub. This is the library. It has several functions and we are going to focus uh, on a gradcam uh, function. So how how can we uh, how can we do it? It's, it's very uh, a simple process. We are going to import some some libraries. We are going to use a, a TensorFlow and OpenCV. And uh, next we are going to to load the VGG16 model. So we are going to choose one of the 1000s classes of the model and uh, explain what is the, the area in our test image. Basically our image was downloaded from Google, you, you can do it by uh, yourself, but I will leave both the code and the images in my GitHub. So we are going to import the VGG16, we are going to import the process import which is a prerequisite function before running the VGG16 uh, prediction and we are going to use the load image in order of course to, to load our test image. So first let's, let's uh, create a variable that is point that points to our VGG16 uh, model and let's print the model summary. Let's run it. Oh, I forgot the 16 near the VGG. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, this is the VGG 16 and you can see that the last layer is the ImageNet, the 1000s uh, classes. You can Google it and we will choose one of the classes. Let's choose the Persian cut. It's 283 uh, class. And let's look for the line C as well. Okay, this is the line C, it's 150. So we are going to focus, as I said, I download two images from Google. One is the C line and one is the Persian cat. I uh, will leave these uh, images as well in the, in the code. I will also uh, leave the link for the for the 1000 uh, ImageNet classes. Okay, next let's create a, a list with the two variable variables. One is the Persian cat, and the second one is the sea lion. Next, let's load our images. The Persian cat would be image number one. Let's uh, load, we have to give it the, the full path. And now we can uh, load this image. Of course, we are going to change the target, set, target size to VGG16 target size, which is uh, 224 on 224. It can be less, but for us, we are going to leave it uh, in these values. 
and image 2 would be the C line image. Okay, next. Let's see what, the, what is the type of image number 1. Basically, uh, we would like to uh, see that it is an image and now we understand that we have to convert it to a number array. Our model needs a number array uh, variable. So now we'll create a new variable and we will convert our image using NumPy to a number array variable, NumPy array variable. We will do it for image 1 and image 2 as well. We also are going to convert the image to a BGR since OpenCV uh, requires a, a BGR image and not an RGB. So in, in one command we are going doing both converting to NumPy and changing the colors. Okay, let's show our original images. This is the cat and this would be the sea lion. Okay, let's uh, run it and let's uh, see both images. Okay, it's a cat and a sea lion and in, in it's on the right target size. Let's continue. Now we're going to run the pre-process uh, images. This is a, a function that is relevant to the VGG, VGG16 model. So let's create an, an array that basically contains a, a batch of both uh, two images. So uh, this array will be uh, composed of image one and image two. So now we have a new variable, we, it's named images and it's contain uh, uh, both images and we are going to uh, send it to the preprocess uh, input and now we are going to define our uh, loss function which it will help us to maximize and focus on our relevant um, classes. So we are going to create this loss function for two classes uh, index number 0 would, would be the Persian cat, that means 283, and index number 1 would be the C line, which is 150. Now we are going to change the last layer of our model to a linear. So we are going to create a, a function for that process. If you already uh, saw my previous uh, tutorial, so it's uh, the same as we have done earlier. Okay, now we are going to define our grad uh, cam function. This function is uh, will be it will be imported from the tfkeras uh, viz library. So we are going to uh, load some uh, functions, and we are going to load a function called cm from matplotlib. It will help us to uh, extract the the image, and we are going to use normalize from the tfkeras uh, viz and of course the grad cam uh, as well okay now we are going to create an object in order to create our this object we we, we need to to run the grad cam a uh, function that returns an instance of the the grad cam we will send this 
send to this function the, the model and our model modifier. And now we have an instance of gradcam. So we are going to send it the, our lost function, which has our two classes, the, the x variable that contains the outcome of the VGG16 model, and let's say a, a, another um, argument, uh, which is the, the last layer uh, before the softmax. Then we are going to normalize our, uh, the outcome of the gradcam. Let's run it just to see that we don't have any syntax error. Okay, everything is okay. So now let's visual the, the image after running the gradcam and the normalization process. So first of all, we have to extract the image so this is the, the syntax in order to extract the image from the, from the cam uh, variable. So basically what we are going to do is get the first position from the cam uh, variable and we are going to convert it to using a, a, a jet a color, color map and we are going to duplicate it on 255 because after the normalization uh, we have to bring it back to a regular image. Then we are going to use the OpenCV library to apply this color map of JET. And then we are able to um, show the image. But uh, before we will uh, display the image we will um, uh, take both images. One is the original image of the cat and the next one will be the outcome after running the gradcam. So in order to show both of them together as one image we are going to use a alpha transparency uh, of 50% for the original image and 50% from the outcome image. And then it will be uh, very helpful to, to see the outcome because you will see the cat and the, the colorful uh, uh, process as well. And before show the, the image, we will uh, do a scaling of a 200% uh, of, the of the width and the height that we will get a, a bigger image and not a 224 image. This is a, a basically a, a straightforward process to resize images using OpenCV. Okay, we also resize the original image, the image one image, and now let's show the original image and the, our result image together. Okay, let's run it. Wow, you can see on the right side the original image, on the left side both images with a 50% transparency of the original and the result after the gradcam. So let's repeat the process for the sea lion. So basically it's, it's much the same. Uh, we are going to get the... the Instead of the zero position, we're going to, to get the number one position. Since we send both images to the model, <coughs> to the model, then the result is 
contain both images. So we are just uh, duplicate the code and change zero to one or image one to image two. And of course, resize both images. And let's display, display the outcome. And of course, change the, the titles as well. As always, I will leave this code in my GitHub. You are most welcome to subscribe my channel and get notified for more, for more videos and more tutorials. So let's run it again. Well, first of all, of course, we are going to see the original images. And then this is the original images. And now the, the cat, the Persian cat with the Gratcam. Uh, and now this is the sea lion. Very impressive. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much. You are most welcome to subscribe uh, my channel for more videos. Bye bye.